English pronunciation. Thank you for taking the time to view this introductory video on English pronunciation. My name is John Hipsley and I'll be your host. I'm a native speaker of English language and my accent is London English. Some call it posh. I call it RP, which stands for Received Pronunciation or BBC English. I'm using video to help you see my mouth and how it forms words and makes the sounds. English can be one of the hardest to master as a second language, harder still pronunciation of words. In English we have many words which sound the same and some that look the same but sound different. The key is to look at the sentence around the word that makes no sense and that should help you with the correct pronunciation of the word. Let's have a look at some examples. The word tear, T-E-A-R. This has two different things. To establish which is the one you want to use, check the example sentence. Example one, T-E-A-R, tear, meaning to rip or shred something, as in a dress or fabric. And the same spelling, T-E-A-R, meaning tear, as in to shed a tear, as in when you are crying. Let's look at those in a sentence, shall we? As the girl read the loving letter from her boyfriend, again a tear rolled down her cheek and touched her lip. Its salty taste changed her expression. Nobody likes to cry. Well, let's look at the second pronunciation and use that in a sentence. As she ran from her attacker, the young girl caught her dress on a branch or bush as it began to tear along the hemline. Now let's use both those pronunciations of tear and tear in the same sentence. As Maria ran towards her father at the train station, she was so happy to see him after so many years that a tear rolled down her cheek and her vision was blurred by the smoke from the train. She did not notice a spike sticking out from the wall and as she ran she heard it tear her dress. It was her favourite. She would have to sew it up later.